What's up everybody? Today I wanted to talk to you about knots. I can't believe how many uses I have for knots out here in my garden. I use them for the shelves in my greenhouse. I use them for the grape arbor that's behind me. I use them for my chicken coop. I use them for the bird netting for my chicken coop. And of course, I use them to tie off plants. There's two main knots that I use. The square knot, and the bowling. Here's an example of how I'd use a square knot on one of my American Giant Hybrid Sunflowers. I use actually use two square knots and a square knot is really good because it will lock in the knot. And I even hang my garden tools and use a square knot on them. In order to make a square knot, you go right over left, then you go left over right, and you're left with two loops. Then you just pull them tight. In order to release it, just pull one of them out. Right over left, left over right. This line is the same as this. This one's the same as this one. So for my greenhouse shelves, I started off with a bowlin all the way at the top. And on the bottom, I have a bowlin and then I also put a slip knot into it to tighten it off. Now that same style is used several times here with my bird netting. I wanted to give my bird netting some extra support so it'll hold up snow. So all the way across I have a bowline that's tightening it down. I also use a bowline to connect the door my greenhouse. The doors sometimes try to swing open. So I have a bowling down here to hold the uh, latch up and it goes across and hooks onto the top. When I want to keep my greenhouse door open I take that same line and connect it to a nail that I sort of wedged in there. Keeps the door from slamming in my face as I'm walking out. In order to make a bowling, make a loop, you go up, around, and back down. And you have a bowling. This also is very easy to release. Another way to remember this is you make your loop. The rabbit goes through the hole, around the tree, and back through the hole. And then you tighten it up. Once again, the rabbit goes through the hole, around the tree, and back through the hole. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see some more knot tying videos, leave a comment in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.
and have a great day.